being a boxer, you, you are lightning quick. Do you think that's played a part in you being better at games than other, the, the average Joe playing as well? Yeah, I think it has because you have to have really good hand-eye coordination um, when you're in the ring. You're always and you're always reacting to what somebody what um, somebody else is doing. You know, so you, punch comes at you like oh. Yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yeah i guess it i guess it does gives you fast reactions on the games yeah which is there must be an advantage there must be an advantage there anyway like hand like coordination as you mentioned there's got to be some kind of way that you kind of do have a bit of a bit of a head start other people who are kind of you know because you've, you've been practicing that all your life yeah yeah definitely i think with the shoot 'em ups like call of duty and destiny i guess you find out what your your real skills are like what your real talents are like i, I like to on call of duty i'm, I'm more of a camper I like okay. to just sit back and pick people off as the with, as the, the, with the snipes. With yeah, the snipe yeah, as they as they're going through, I'm like yes, <laughs> <laughs> they don't even, they don't even a know mini where. Cheer. Like, yes, yeah, I love that. Yeah, I'm, I'm so I'm so down with a mini cheer. Yes, you did. Yeah. Well, great, good job, you. I like that self motivation. So that's all for about. Real, so that's for all real. about. Yeah, we, we we need that in the ring as well. You need to kind of believe in what you're yeah, gonna, exactly, yeah, in, in you. Yeah, exactly. Do you, do you do. kind of visualize? When you're in the ring, do you kind of visualize the win? How, how, what, what was your mindset going into kind of fights as well? Is it the same kind of premise that you would kind of just visualize walking away as a champion or how was it for you? Yeah, I always visualize women winning. I never um, never think about losing because I feel like if, you, if you're thinking about losing, you've already lost, you know. You want to stay focused and positive the, the whole way through and walk into the ring then, I'm just thinking about uh, my tactics and, and yeah. what I need to do in in the ring. Do you think? I mean, recently AJ fought against um, Ruiz in the rematch. Do you think going coming from a loss, coming back to people, a lot of people are talking about coming from a loss, then going back into a rematch like that, is it quite hard to get over that mentally as well? Like that kind of like having taken that that hit in the first matchup, um, is it easy to get turn it around and, and focus, or is it quite? Is it always playing a part somehow? I think it is if you if you stay focused and dedicated. Um, I had to do the same thing. Um, when in the finals of 2012, um, the Chinese girl uh, Ren Kan Kan beat me 10 weeks before in the World Championships. Wow! So okay. I had 10, 10 weeks to make a difference, turn things around, and win the gold. So I, I know exactly where um, Anthony was coming from, and I knew he was capable of of winning. Yeah, he should have done that the the first time, um, but I think he just got you know too too caught up, too involved. Yeah, um, Ruiz is a, a big puncher; he's heavy handed. And all you need to do is stay away. You know, um, my yeah. coach always used to say to me, "You can have the power to knock the house down, but if you can't hit the house, what's the point?" Yeah. So you know, um, a, a boxer like that, I've been up against boxers like that. You just move, make it easy. It, it just felt like he in this in the rematch, AJ just had the tactics down really, just keeping it at bay, yeah, winning the yeah. round on points, and he was happy to do so as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes it's not about you know getting the the big knockout victory. It's it is just about winning. Yeah. It sets up a, a good year ahead, 2020, with like uh, Tyson Fury yeah, and Deontay Wilder. Wilder. Yeah, yeah. It, it could be. I, I'd love to see an AJ Wilder Matt. I think everyone wants to see that. Yeah, right? yeah. I'd love to champion. see that. I'd love to see that. Yeah. I'd also love to see the the Fury just just because. Yeah. The build up oh, will I be. Mean, it'll be. It'll be hilarious. It'll be so funny. It'll be. You know. The, I could just. I can just imagine <laughs> already what the build up to that fight will be like. He, Fury has this this the the, the chat he's got and like yeah, the, yeah. the banter with his. I mean, it is it is incre- It's such a funny watch as well. Like, yeah. it's really entertaining. Um, but I think I, I read this morning apparently that that Josh Anthony is just saying he's gonna be some kind of like sparring partner of Tyson Fury's ahead of like his Wilder fight, which I don't know if that's a, a good thing or a bad thing from for, you know, as a potential challenger for future. I don't think he's uh, yeah. he's gonna. He said he would. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily like, mean that he's going to do it. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> it's a bit. It's like it'd be. I mean, if he's if he's gonna um, box Fury in the next few months, I can't see them no. um, sparring. Um, you can learn so much from from a spar, um, even though it's not the same as a as an actual competition. I used to pick up so much from um, learning things when we we used to have training camps with different countries yeah. and just the the little faults the little flaws you know you try things out let, let me see what the if they're like body shots let me see what happens if you hit them really hard you know and, and see what the reactions are you know what winds them up you know there's you can learn so much so oh, much from sparring and you and you know that something would happen when they were sparring you know something would happen yeah yeah there'd be a clash yeah and then it, it would just kick off and the way our Tyson is as well you know yeah, he's oh, gonna try up. something yeah absolute wind up merchant <laughs> absolute wind up merchant I'm, I mean Wilder I'm looking forward to seeing because he's I mean everyone says like he can punch like yeah. nobody else like yeah. he, he, every 
every round despite him losing i think his last match as well he was like kind of he was down on the cards and suddenly came back with just a just a killer punch which yeah. just you know knocked the guy out and and, and that that's what he's capable of I guess, yeah as well. yeah that's the that's the the difference like yeah. he's always got that one shot that can just take you out and um, you know whether he's losing or, or not that one shot can just finish you. Yeah. I mean, the way that Tyson Fury got up from that, I, I didn't think he was going to get up. I was just like, yeah. that's it. It's done. And, and it, it, it was, was unreal. It was unreal. I mean, I, th- I, saw, I saw the aftermath of the um, Ruiz Joshua fight recently, and he, he, I think he was saying that because he obviously became world champion, well, um, as, as he did, and I think he said that he kind of spent three months just living the dream, like buying Rolls Royces and yeah. kind of going wild and oh. partying constantly. Is is there an element? Does, does that kind of stuff get to your head? Like when you were world, when you were kind of Olympic champion, when you were, you know, you you had all these medals and these accolades. Is there a part of that where you you kind of let, let that get over? You, you go into every ring being almost overconfident because you're you you you've done so well, or do you always have to kind of bring yourself back down to earth again because you don't want to get ahead of yourself because it kind yeah. of, it's like kind of like a flaw in your kind of armor, if you will. Yeah, exactly. Like I was the I was the type of person where I never wanted to underestimate my opponents so I always I was I was always nervous for every competition I had and it was a good thing for me because I knew that I I was taking my opponents seriously and I wasn't underestimating them because that's the that's the worst thing you can do I think every person that underestimates their opponent always ends up losing always you just you you just can't do that because your opponent has nothing to lose and everything to gain if they lose it's okay you know I, I lost to the champion if I win hey the top of the world, like Andy Ruiz was. So. Yeah, when, you know, five weeks to prepare for a fight. You know, yeah. I, I think I guess AJ was not really. You imagine he was thinking, okay, here comes. And it, I mean, I think I think Tyson Fury described him as a chubby, fat pig. And you go, okay, <laughs> a bit harsh. You know, it's just. But he comes in, like, no one's expecting anything, kind yeah, of like big yeah. from the gun. Suddenly he 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 kind of knocks out AJ, which is I guess that you, that is a classic example of you could potentially underestimate someone not thinking you know don't judge a book by its cover yeah exactly and, then you, get, and, you, and you pay the consequences basically exactly like yeah. Anthony should have probably known the you know the Mexicans are tough they come to fight and they don't always look like they're in really good shape but you better believe in the gym they, they work really hard yeah. um, I was over training in America um, with Virgil Hunter and and anytime the they come the Mexican guys come into the gym and they spar you know it's, it's a toe to toe war and you, you you see the guys and you're like, man, like two rounds, you know, he'll be tired. Nope, he's he's still there. And the way that Ruiz got up in the in the first fight after quite a, a heavy knockdown, um, most of the time when Anthony hits somebody with that kind of shot, that's it. The the fight's over yeah. and he just got straight back up and it was like, oh, like it's yeah. on. <laughs> I, I saw I saw a great, a great documentary about it. Actually, I think the BBC put it together. It was like um. The whole that fact that in that same round when Aja got caught and the kind of discombobulated fashion that he couldn't kind of get his legs straight again. I mean, is it, it, that must be it must be really frustrating as well for a fighter when you can't, you just cannot, even though you're kind of completely conscious, you just cannot get yourself back together again because that one kind of that one punch can change everything. Yeah, yeah, definitely it can. I mean, um, luckily enough, I haven't been in that situation where I'd ever been on the on the canvas. Um, my my coach was a great believer, you know, in, in hitting and not getting hit. And I actually don't like getting hit, so I was like, "Oh, this hurts. Okay, I'm gonna move." Like, yeah. um, I was I was one of those the type of boxer where if I get hit with something once, you won't hit me again with it. Yeah. Um, which was always I always found frustrating for um with some fighters where like they'll get hit with the same shot every time, and I'm like, "Why don't you just put your hands up?" Yeah. It's it, you know, it's not <laughs> rocket science. Yeah. <laughs> you just That's move your head a little for. bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, gosh, yeah. Well, you're learning but, from. I guess you're learning. It's, it's, a, it's a constant learning process, isn't yeah, it? You know, yeah, yeah. Every it fight is, is different. It is. Every, it yeah, must be a, yeah. It fascinates me. It's really, really interesting. Um, I, did you have any? Did you kind of watch any of the um, Logan Paul KSI kind of stuff unfold as well online? Like, there's obviously these two huge YouTube stars put together one of I think the most viewed boxing match. I think around the world, I think ever, I think it was online. Damn. I think I don't know if you do. Did you take keep tabs any of this at all? Um, like I, I heard about. It. I didn't. I didn't watch it. Yeah, didn't it was, watch it. It's it's amazing. But I think obviously Eddie Hearn. I who, figured it'd just be it'd be quite an obviously, which I'm sure it probably was because they don't really have much yeah. boxing experience. I was like, mm, 
it, yeah, it's a bit like <laughs> not yeah. really for me, not really that yeah. interested. But I think, I, I mean, it, it it was interesting from a boxing standpoint. I think as well, like you know, the kind of the, the now the YouTuber culture or influencers are kind of putting together the, the, with, the, with the fan bases they have. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, it makes spectacle. it makes sense for a promoter. You know, it's it's going to make money. Yeah. Um, that's what promoters yeah. are, are in the business for making money. So I think well, Eddie Hearn, I think, is the promoter for for AJ's fights at least. Anyway, and, yeah. and here he is promoting this fight. And everyone was, I think, at first thinking, "What are you, what are you doing doing this YouTube fight?" Yeah, but I think it's, a, his... it's about the money. I think the first fight, I think um, they they pulled in a, a million. I think wow. for the for the first fight. So. Obviously, if I, if I was if I was him and I'm, I'm I'm a promoter and I'm like, well, yeah, let's put you on a bigger stage and I'm gonna make a bit more money out yeah. of you. Like here we go. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, and it's uh, and it was and it was a, it was an amazing thing. You know, obviously, the entire world were kind of on bated breath to wait and see who actually won it and things. And KSI walked away as the victor. So I don't think anyone yeah, really saw yeah. it coming because, you know, here we are, bloke and poor big guy. You know, once again, I guess similar to. AJ and Ruiz, you know, a big guy who looks like you know, like an Adonis, I guess, to yeah, look at. Yeah. But then again, um, and KSI looked great too. But I guess technically, he kind of had the the upper hand and, and won it. So anything can happen in boxing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Can in you can you can never judge a book by its cover in boxing. You you really can't. <laughs> 